A long time ago, in a galaxy that was the Milky Way galaxy, film criticism consisted of either consumer advice to tell you which films are good, or a reflection on the relationship between art and culture. But everything changed when Cinema Sins attacked. Now, reviews not only have jokes to hold your attention, but exist primarily, nay, exclusively, to be humorous entertainment. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, like, it just means culture is shifting. But the story doesn't end there. The brave warrior Jay Exy and Bob's Vids and Sean and Jen and the three Birdman sought to right the world by nitpicking everything wrong with these everything wrong with nitpick videos and dubbed his channel Cinema Sins Sins. But the story doesn't end there, for the Warrior J realized that once you go meta with Cinema Sins Sins, inevitably you will eventually go further, and thus Cinema Sins 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 was born. But the story doesn't end there. This Ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary folks of fancy persuasion, is Cinema Sins, 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 Sins. Everything wrong with everything wrong with everything wrong with. Why did I do this to myself? Jay is still recovering from his head shave, reducing his appearance to only 80% sexiness. The channel I'll be criticizing today is so terrible. Cinema Sins Sins is a good, and Jay needs to stop being so hard on himself. It's so terrible, so horrifically awful, and so just generally bad. Not just terrible and awful, but also bad? No way, it can't be all three. But I can only imagine that this entire audience is comprised of either people who are blind and deaf and have no idea that's what they're actually watching. Uh, Jay, deafblind people do watch YouTube videos and know what they're watching. Here we go. These words imply that the Sin Sin Sinning is about to begin, but there are another three minutes of introduction before it does. Use manual focus. And in this journey, I have had to do the undoable. Jay must learn how to mix audio so we can hear what the fuck he's saying over the music. Where am I going? Nowhere. In this shot, you are standing still. Ripped jeans are not appropriate attire for the activity you are currently engaged in. Two Cinema Sin Sin Sins. So this was originally supposed to be a regular segment, where I'd tell you what day it was according to timeanddate.com and then I'd do something special for that day. But this is the only time I ever did it. So plus one sin for abandoning plans. But this video did do the thing. You didn't abandon it here, so this is an undeserved sin for everything wrong with everything wrong with Shrek, and a missed sin for everything wrong with everything wrong with Kingsman. Also, you didn't actually promise to make this a regular thing, so from the viewer's standpoint, you did nothing wrong. And yes, I know that invalidates the missed sin I just gave. What are you gonna do about it? Make cinema sin 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 sins? Wait, was that the right number of sins? Dick font. Jay increases the sin count in response to the dick font. Clearly he meant to remove a sin, and this was a mistake. That's right kids, there are two fart and poop jokes in the first two minutes. Are you not entertained? Also, this fish is killed by a fart from this distance, and there are many, many reasons why that would not be able to happen. Shrek is a fictional creature whose internal biology is not explained. For all you know, ogre farts could include a burst of electricity, allowing them to kill nearby fish faster than methane mixes with water. Also, Jay sins cartoon physics in a cartoon. Don't do this. Because it's really annoying. Doing the thing you're instructing yourself not to do. People take one look at me and go, Ah, help, run! A big, stupid, ugly ogre. Shrek is an incel. What about that line makes you think Shrek is talking about sex? Well, actually, that would be a giant. Also, Jay compares Shrek to one kind of misogynist, but misses the obvious well-actually opening to dig at meninists. On demand voyeur porn. In the process of taking notes for this video, I came to this sin and didn't know what voyeur means, so I googled it. The Google definition of voyeur includes an example of the word being used in a sentence, which is a good thing. However, the example Google gave was this. I will do a dramatic reading. He stood there, transfixed, a voyeur, feasting on the swell of her buttocks. And you know what? 
Honestly, there's no way I'm going to be able to spin that into being a sin for this video. You could point out that Fiona is fully clothed, meaning that Jeremy is wrong about this being porn. Uh, thanks, man. That really, really contributed to my enjoyment of this video. If you thought that part of your Shrek video was so boring, why include it in this video? Seriously, how the f*** does Fiona know how to do all this sh after living in a f***ing castle for who knows how long? Exactly, who knows how long? I mean, we don't. She could have been in there for, say, a year and learned all of that stuff before she got in there. Except no, because in Shrek 2 they tell us she's been there since she was a kid. Continuity errors created by Shrek 2 are not the fault of Shrek 1. Like millions of dollars just to save one dude. What, so they should just let him die? Humans don't actually produce that much energy, guys. It doesn't matter how much energy the human body produces, the problem is that the amount of energy we consume even at rest is always greater than the amount we produce. Mustache of Steel. That is the alternate title of Justice League, not Man of Steel. Damn, the blacks are really, really faded in this. The blacks are faded? You might want to rephrase that one. Don't get me wrong, this guy playing Lancelot is a very capable actor and he makes a brilliant secret agent, but having seen him in Coupling doing the things that his character does, it is very hard to take him seriously as a secret agent. How dare this actor have range? Wait, don't ding ya, I thought of a better way to say it. This movie has this actor in it, that TV show has this actor in it, and that's a sin. Okay, the actual sin I was trying to make there was the fact we never see any repercussions of that many people being dead in the sequel means that basically, yeah, Jeremy's right. Continuity errors created by Kingsman the Golden Circle are not the fault of Kingsman the Secret Service. Written and directed by George Lucas. What? The guy who's basically responsible for the original trilogy? Basically responsible? You should be correcting yourself by giving George less credit, not more. The creative genius who made the original Star Wars what it is was Marsha Lucas, not George. I will fight you on this. As new pieces of text appear on screen, the old pieces of text that are already on screen start jumping around for no reason. 4 by 3 aspect ratio. You don't get to complain about video formatting when you have that big of a black border around your thing. You're one to talk, mate. Yes, I am aware that I am only making the problem worse. Also, what did Chalmers even bring over? A milk bottle? A guy on the internet assumes that because the bottle is white, the liquid contained inside that bottle must also be white, raising the question of whether he thinks most wine is black? Chalmers' upper lip is bigger than his nose. All Simpsons characters look like that, you're just now noticing? Nice to know that your family sucks as cooking as well. Sucks as cooking. Also, the caption says sucks a cooking, so this is wrong on both accounts. Seymour! The house is on fire! No, mother, it's just the Northern Lights. Uh, Skinner, don't you think now might be a good time to call an ambulance? Do you mean a good time to call for a fire truck? From the fire department? To put out the fire? Okay, this stage I quite like. Um, yeah, you break that sand, there's lava there. And you break that sand, there's not. 10 out of 10 level design, mate. Just... Wow, you should make a puzzle game or something. That was a comment in a Minecraft Let's Play video, not an error in a Sins Sins video. Therefore, that was not a Sins Sins Sin. Jay must learn the difference between comments in a Minecraft Let's Play video and Sins Sins. I spent about five minutes making sure each of those three instances had the correct number of the word Sin. I think I might have a problem. Go away! I don't feel like being shot right now. If you shoot, that's it. Die. <laughs> Maybe you should have tried that in the first place instead of trying to reason with the skeleton. Oh, so just because this one skeleton didn't respond to diplomacy, you assume that's true for all skeletons and we should just kill them on sight? That's skeletonist. Young Jay never switches to a sword for killing monsters, even though he has two diamond swords and it would be much faster. Sin. Okay. Come on, Jay, we can tell you're not committing adultery in this shot. I know it would be impractical, but there are so many other fun sins to choose from, like getting drunk. Pick me, Daddy. I am not Jay's baby girl in this scene. You look like you don't walk so much as hover on a cloud of your own gayness. It's a little known fact, but all gays can actually do that. It's a power they all share. As a bisexual, I do also have access to that power, but I have to charge it up by watching Mean Girls. As an asexual, I have to watch Dragon Ball Z. That's not a sin, I just wanted to join the party. In fact, I'm removing a sin, because that was fun. Honesty is not an emotion, it's a trait. Honesty is not a trait, it's a behavior. 
This in itself is sad, as Mom's head appears to be captained by sadness more than any of the other emotions. But also, and more importantly, why are all of Mom's emotions females? And Riley's emotions live in a co-ed dorm. Riley is non-binary. Also, no, not more importantly, the gender presentations of the emotions should not be a greater concern than the emotions themselves, you cis cuck. Riley is a millennial. No, she isn't. She's too young. Riley is Generation Z. Generations are made up. Why is it that all of Riley's memories apparently have one distinct emotion associated with them? Think of anything you can remember from, let's say, yesterday. Are any of those memories specifically happy, or specifically scary, or specifically angry, or specifically disgusty? I'd say probably not. The majority of them are probably just neutral. And any emotional memories you do have probably have a mixture of emotions in them. That's... the point? Riley develops more complex memories as a sign of her growing maturity. Like, d did you watch the movie? If Thanos is as powerful as this movie suggests, why does he need to make deals with less powerful people to retrieve important orbs for him? Why not just get the orb yourself and save the murder for higher trouble? Um, maybe because he can't be asked to do it himself and this is easier for him. Like, you know how some rich people have cleaners? That's not because those rich people are not powerful enough to clean their homes themselves. Yes, but with this being as important to Thanos as it is, you'd really expect him to want to do it himself. Some rich people hire staff to clean their houses for them, sure, but I doubt any hire staff to try and accomplish their life goals for them. Lots of rich people hire nannies to essentially raise their children for them, even though they could easily retire and be parents 24-7. Sitting around all day doing virtually nothing? Growling into a microphone for a couple of hours? That's your job? It's like those assholes from CinemaSense. Matter humor. All matter humor is worth a sin. Matter humor. All matter humor is worth a sin. If you say so. Oh look, Groot has a very useful power we somehow haven't heard about before now. I'm going to add a sin for the fact that this movie does not use foreshadowing, which is something I add a sin for when movies do use it. I should actually recreate the llama for Or maybe you could, I don't know, sin it for Cinema Sin Sin Sins Part 2? Jay chastises Jay for not doing something Jay knows that Jay did in fact do. Number one fan! This move doesn't work out any better for Incredible Boy than it did for me at Taylor Swift's New England estate. Which is why in about 15 years, Taylor Swift is going to be really sorry once I unleash all my evil inventions. I actually quite like this joke and would kind of like to take a sin off for it. Unfortunately, if I took a sin off here, that would mean taking a sin off myself as well, which I don't deserve. So I can't. Okay, but how does that turn it back into a sin on Jeremy's part? You still clicked the dinger and increased the missed sin sins count. Underground cave? Name one other type of cave. Glacial cave. Focus Warnig. I'm not a millennial. I'm Generation Z. Again, that's an arbitrary division with about as much descriptive power as a horoscope. Now that I've roasted myself, it's time for you to help roast me. Buy a pop guard or point your face away from the microphone. Whee. I've decided to take a sin off here. Why, you ask? Well, I just felt like throwing myself a bone. How dare you? We've gone too deep this time. Ah, it's so meta. You ain't seen nothing yet, boy. I'm not just going to be sinning one of my videos. I'm going to sin them all. You accidentally said the word all when what you clearly meant to say was half? Ah, yes. Clearly the phrase that Jay from the past meant to say was... I'm going to send them half. So without further ado, he says with a solid minute of introduction left before the actual sinning starts. It takes four minutes of introduction to get to the first sin in this video, so you're one to talk, mate. Neither Jeremy or any of these Gen 1 synths knocking about the place have noticed that Piper is casually here leaning against a pillar. This movie had a character wearing a long red leather jacket. That video game had a character wearing a long red leather jacket. And that's a sin. Speaking of overused jokes, well, if you could even call that one a joke, it's more of just a reoccurring line, but I do think I'm becoming too dependent on it, so I'm gonna try and maybe cut back and use it a little less. Jay says he's going to use it a little less, when what he clearly meant to say was use it just as often, but rephrased into fewer words. This movie, that movie. 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 This movie, that TV show. Premature jubilation. Premature jubilation. Premature jubilation. Premature jubilation. Premature jubilation. Brad Bird loves the bullets whizzing into the water effect, doesn't he? 
I mean, we know these bullets would lose most of their power once they hit the water, but as shown, damn, that girl should be dead. Well, no, she shouldn't be dead, because she should be using the force field power that she has to stop the bullets that are being shot at her. Why is she not doing this? Why is she not doing this? Well, she's not doing this because this movie has already established that she can't make full body force fields. She doesn't have to make a full body force field. She only needs a well positioned force field between herself and the bullets. Why is this magnet crane even moving? I'm serious. This might be the biggest mystery of the entire goddamn movie. Jeremy Sin's cartoon physics in a cartoon number two. Eve would have been completely destroyed by a magnet this strong. Technology and magnets do not mix well. Magnets break technology. Those two sins were back to back. The first one was Jay from the past sinning Jeremy for sinning cartoon physics in a cartoon. And the second one was Jay from the past sinning cartoon physics in a cartoon. Ah yes, technological immunity to magnetism, that famous element of cartoon physics. It's almost as central to the genre as that little bit where they run off the edge of something and then they don't fall down until they notice they've run off the edge. The word you're thinking of is something like resilience or endurance. Eve having immunity to magnetism would mean that the magnet has no effect on her whatsoever. What actually happened is that she was affected by the magnet but survived it. When Wally appears for a mini end credit sequence, he changes the Pixar lamp's light bulb, replacing it with the CFL bulb to be more environmentally friendly. If he really wanted to be environmentally friendly, he should have replaced it with an LED bulb. Initially, I was going to add a mist in here because the title card says everything wrong with in 17 minutes or fewer Watchmen. Um, yeah, I will add that mist in. But then I realized even if the person editing this put all of the words in the right order, it still wouldn't be correct. Because for some strange reason, it would appear that what this title card says is in 17 minutes or fewer. Oh, that's a really helpful and definitely necessary arrow you've used there. Like, there must just be so many people watching going, Right, I see the word in. Now I see the word 17. Now I see the word minutes. Now I see the word or. But where do I look for the next word? If only someone could help me. That word is white text over a white costume. It's very hard to read. Which not only makes it another missed cinema sins sin, but also makes the arrow entirely justified. I love this movie to death, so if you want a non-biased assessment of a Sins video, then maybe this isn't the best Sins Sins video to you. I will try to remain subjective for the course of this, I'm just not making any promises. You'll try to remain subjective? That would mean you are letting your bias come through, which isn't something you have to try to do. Someone... please... Stop this madness. That is not the original thing counter sound effect. Well, yeah, of course it's not, otherwise people wouldn't be able to tell my sound effect from the sound effect that Jeremy uses. And that would get confusing. So I made my own. You made your own sound effect? I find that unlikely. Don't body shame the llamas. There's nothing wrong with a big fat mama llama just existing. It's only body shaming if you insinuate that there's something wrong with that. You're the one actually shaming the big fat mama llama by assuming that any reference to her bigness and fatness must automatically be shameful. What did I literally just say? Oh, sorry Jay from the present. I should have incorporated your constructive feedback into my creative process seven years before you shared it with me. Oh my god, epic fail. Oh my god, epic fail.